Kathy Wilhoyt was a mother of two little girls back in June of 1985 when she was killed inside her apartment. Police thought they had their man until expert witnesses cleared him. Now her toddlers are all grown up and they're looking for answers. Our Vincent Hill has more on the mother she never knew. It's one of Oklahoma's cold case files. I call them mom and dad. My dad who raised me, he was a principal um, here in Broken Arrow and my mom was a teacher. Kristen Zarn is talking about the adopted parents who raised her and her little sister from the time she was a toddler and her sister an infant. As she got older, Kristen started asking about her real parents. They told us when we were very little that um, we called him Daddy Greg and they said he was away working. Kristen believed her dad, Greg Wilhoyt, would return one day but knew she would never see her mother. When we were really little, they just told us um, that she got beat up very badly and went to heaven. Her mother, Kathy Wilhoyt, was brutally murdered on June 1st, 1985, while 14-month-old Kristen and her four-month-old sister were in their cribs. We were found the next day, um, neighbors heard us crying and they called the police. After 17 months, police believed they had their suspect. At that time, we were told you know, she was beat up and went to heaven and that people thought Daddy Greg did it. Her dad, Greg Wilhoyt, was eventually convicted of killing his wife. Investigators closed the case. Then Greg spent the next five years on Oklahoma's death row until experts proved the bite mark used to convict him was not his. By then, Kristen was seven. I remember walking through the house and getting to um, the den and I saw him sitting there and at first I was confused and it took me a second, but then I, I recognized him and I ran to him screaming and, ah, and hugging him. Reunited with the father she hadn't seen since she was a toddler, Kristen was finally able to build a relationship with her dad. I was always happy to spend time with him. We, um, we shared a love for movies, um, so we went to movies all the time. Greg used his conviction and prison experience to inspire others. Witness to Innocence, and it's an anti-death penalty group, and he was very involved in that, and he went all around the nation giving speeches at colleges. Greg Wilhoyt died in 2014. Kristen says now the focus should be on the mother she never really got to know. People kind of forgot about her and wanting to get justice for her and find out what happened. Investigators say they haven't forgotten, but the Tulsa Police Cold Case Unit has a big problem. Found out that they had gotten rid of the evidence. State law requires them to maintain it a certain period of time. And of course, him being exonerated on it, they went and destroyed the evidence and got rid of the evidence. Investigators say finding the real killer in this case hinges on someone coming forward not only tell us, be, be very correct in telling us what happened. And, you know, like they knew this guy or whoever it was that did it. This was a reason they did it. Meanwhile, Kristen wonders what could have been. What was she like? And, you know, would we have been, um, would we have gotten along? Would she have liked me and who I've become? If you have any information about the June 1st, 1985 murder of Catherine Wilhoyt, contact the Tulsa police at 918-798-TIPS. Vincent Hill. Two news.